Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is James Warwick. I do fashion, travel, lifestyle, all the type of content here on YouTube. And if you're not new here, thank you so much. You know I love you and you know I appreciate you so much. My loves, the little family and community I've created on here so far. Can't wait to grow you guys. But uh, today we have a video I have not done in a while. So I'm actually gonna do a try on haul. Um, so I went thrifting, honestly y'all, a couple weeks ago and I'm just now getting to like making this video. Um, so I have worn a couple of these pieces, mm, pretty much just two or three of them. Um, but I'm gonna show you everything I got and try it on for you. If you wanna see some cool thrifted um, fall winter pieces, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start with coats and jackets. Um, we're gonna kind of go from like, maybe your right to left, but like my left looking at it to right <laughs> um, of the car. And I'm gonna start with just the jackets and coats. So I got this cool trench. Um, it's Austin Reed. And I feel like it's just a really good fit. Like with the sleeves and the length, I really, really like this. So I got this and it's also got like neutral tan color so you can wear it with like so much. And then I got something extremely similar but in like a darker brown. This is more of like a chocolate. And this one is London Fog. So they're not the same brand, but they're so similar in style. And I just thought this one also fit amazing. And both of the colors are just so rich and also neutral and very versatile. So I thought I could wear it with a lot. This one I was truly shocked to find, but I'm so happy that I did because I've been seeing brown leather jackets everywhere lately um, as far as trends. This is GH Bass and Company. It has like a really nice lining, like a warm fur lining. Like, come on, so good. It has buttons over the zipper as well. So it kind of conceals it. I love this like moto collar. Double front chest pockets. This is a good brown leather jacket. I feel like I'm gonna wear this so much. This is probably my favorite thing that I thrifted. I'm obsessed with this jacket. Number one, it's like the perfect color palette for fall with like the orange and the light yellow tans, um, the blue and the black. It's just so perfect. And also, I think this is maybe a 2XL. And I just love the way that this fits me. Oh, you can even buy the top one and you don't feel like you're suffocating. And then I button it like four or five down and then just kind of let it be. Come on. It's so good. It's so comfortable. I love the double front pockets and it also has pockets on the side. So I've worn this multiple times, multiple times. I'm living in this so far this fall. Um, and it'll probably go all the way until summer. I'm gonna wear this fall, winter, and spring. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it's so cozy and warm, but then it's also perfect. You can put like coats over it. You can put a couple layers under it. Uh, I'm just gonna wear the, out of this. <laughs> I love it. This jacket, I really got this A because I love the um, colors. I like, like the limeish green with the white and the silver, but also because it's Puma, which is such a 
like vintage athletic name brand. Um, I don't know, I feel like Puma's gonna make a comeback and not that they've really gone anywhere necessarily, but in popularity, they just haven't been as popular, but I feel like they're gonna make a comeback. And I just thought this jacket was so cute. And it's $5, $5.94. Like, yeah, I'm obviously gonna cop. Wow. So good. Little bag, some sunnies, some cool sneakers. Mm-hmm. Wow. I love this jacket. What a steal. Side pockets too. Such good condition. So clean. Casual, comfy, easy, like everything. And I feel like everyone's been wearing these type of jackets with like jeans or like trousers and chinos. And it's, I feel like this is, the tracksuit jacket is like such a trend right now. So um, not that I'm like shopping for trends, but it just works and I do like that in trend and you always need a jacket and you can always layer this too. I got four very cool and unique button ups that I'm going to try on individually so you can kind of see them as full pieces, but they are all very similar. Um, they're a little oversized and then they have these like oversized cuffs as well so yeah the like the cuffs are extra long and what thick and i love that and that's kind of why i got them and i loved like the contrasting collar and cuffs to the shirt so i'll try all these each on so you can see them and then we'll move on to the next step so here's the first one it's orange with a white um collar and white cuffs and I know you're supposed to like fold these and then put the cuff link in and stuff but I feel like I just love the dramatic um having them down and I obviously need to like wash and steam the shirts and stuff as well um and they'll lay a little bit more like how they should <laughs> okay now this one might be my favorite because the yellow and the orange Such a good combo. Oh my gosh, like it's just so cute. The orange is the, it's like a coral orange almost, like a salmon. And the yellow is such a beautiful, like pale, like bright pale or saturated pale yellow. I don't know about. I love it. I feel like that's the best way to describe them. Both the colors is like saturated. Like it's like a salmon, pink, orange, and a yellow, but they're both very saturated and I love it. I love the contrast of them. Like I cannot wait to style these and shoot them. Oh, so good. Come on. Come on. Okay, this one is definitely more nautical, a little bit more um, classic, I guess you could say, with like the light blue and the white and the pinstripes, but still such a good shirt and perfect for layering because of the pinstripes and the contrasting colors with the blue and the white and the collars and then like the body of the shirt. And again, I love that they're the perfect size and like oversizedness as far as like the neck definitely has plenty of space. And then the extra white cuffs, too good, too good. Yeah, no, I love this one. Cannot wait to style this. Also, follow me um, on TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube channel because a try-on fall-winter outfits video is coming. Um, I've been slowly but surely kind of styling these pieces with pieces I already have and also some other new pieces um, that aren't going to be in this video. So if you want to see how I would style this, make sure you subscribe and check out the styling video. 
uh, thrifted clothes, as well as like fall winter pieces. And the last button up is this yellow and royal blue checkered one. I grabbed this one also because definitely because of like the wide cuffs, so it went with like the theme of the other ones. And because it did remind me of like my high school um, colors because we were the Vikings and we were like blue and gold. So this reminds me so much of like my high school, like nostalgic in like a, such a good way. Um, and just because I like the like plaid, like checkered pattern on it, like the pic picnic basket. Can I talk? Picnic basket pattern in the yellow and blue was cute and just kind of bold. So I thought this would also be a really good piece for layering or like a throw over the top of something um, because it is interesting on its own. So cute. Okay, this breaks my heart. <laughs> But this is also one of my favorite pieces of this haul, and I literally feel like I might have ruined it. But look how cute this is. Come on. Come on, Nike. But I wore this, because like I said earlier, I would have been wearing these. And I don't know if you can even see, but I spilled chicken tiki masala on the front of it, and then tried spraying it with spray and wash to clean it, and I feel like it faded, like made the red bleed. So I'm gonna go in here with like a Tide stick and try to correct this and then rewash this because I'm absolutely obsessed with this Nike pullover. It's so cute. I wore this for an hour, an hour their day. Got multiple compliments on it. Going to get Indian food. Got the Indian food was eating it and spilled it on the front and then of course had to like wear it the rest of the night got home put it in the wash and it honestly was way more saturated and I spray washed it and washed it and it was way more saturated and it's kind of faded because and I also was hang drying it because if you put it in the dryer like it's gonna settle it's gonna set in so I hung dry it, so now I'm gonna go in with like a Tide pan and try to clean up the white, but I really hope I can save this because I will keep this and wear this for ever. Like I'll wear this for so long. It's so comfortable, it's so cute. Like the subtle branding, the sleeves, I just, the material of it. I don't know how to describe the material of it. It's like that waffle kind of, I don't know how to explain like the the texture, but it's like that waffle knit almost. No, but I'm obsessed. And I really hope I didn't screw it up because I love this piece. So I was gonna show this earlier because of the stain on it and I had to explain it. I was like, let me put it at like the end of the tops. Um, I have one more shirt after this, but because this is more like a pullover, like sweater jacket, I was gonna put it before the shirt. Um, but yeah, I love this. And this is also gonna be styled in more than a million different ways if I can stop it and get that stain out. I'll probably still wear it with that stain on it like at least one more time to make it worth buying. But let's hope that I can get the stain out. It's also annoying because like I bought it completely fine. Like it was actually in better condition when I bought it. Like it had no stains on it or anything and like I ruined it. I hate, before I could like shoot it and stuff, and I hate that. So this is the last top um, and potentially tried on piece. I don't know if I'm gonna try on the bottoms for you guys. I'm gonna put on the jeans to show you like the good fit of them and I'm gonna just show you the trousers. Um, or maybe I'm gonna show you the trousers, the blue trousers first that go with, go with, that I tried on with this shirt and it just looks so cute together. So I was like, ooh, maybe I'll even wear this to work at like my nine to five. I didn't buy it for that. I bought it more for just like winter, like um, holiday party season because it's kind of giving holiday vibes um, and like wintry vibes. I also normally try to have an idea of what I'm going for when I go thrifting and I'll like set like little rules for myself. And with this one, my only rule was do not buy anything that was shorts, short sleeves, or a vest. So everything had to be like long sleeves or pants because I'm like, this is like for fall, winter, and like 
I genuinely needed fall winter pieces. And I saw this and I'm like, perfect long sleeves. I like the bold stripes. I like the color palette. It is giving very rich, like holiday party season with like the wine, the deep navy, the gray. So I copped it. It's also club room. So like it's quality, it's nice. Um, I'm gonna put this on for you guys and then um, show you the shirt. And then I also, like I was saying, got these um, blue trousers, which on the end there. Um, that I tried on with this and kind of style with this just because I got them at the same time and it looked really good together. So I'm like, I might wear this to work. Like, cute. Do we love it? <laughs> yeah, no, it's so cute. Okay, now let me try on like the blue trousers with it and show you guys that. So these are the blue trousers I got. And I mostly got these because I just don't have like blue pants. And again, I was interested in bottoms I can wear like to work, but also like at my nine to five, but also style for content and stuff on social media. So I was like, wait, I really like these. I like the fit of them and the structure and the color. I don't have blue pants so I was like oh let me get those and then it just kind of looked really good and matched with like the blue and the sweater and the like grays and everything so I tried it on together and I really like the way it looks so I was like let me show you guys together and see what you guys think it's like a belt and some black loafers for work and these are one of the other pair of pants I got. They are Levi's black jeans. I believe they're 502s. Yep, they are. And I mean, a Levi's a Levi. They're pretty much going to fit and they're going to make you look good. <laughs> I love these. I feel like they're so slimming as well. They're the perfect length. They're 32, 34. Amazing condition. I actually can't believe I thrifted these. Um, but yeah, I'm super pleased with these. I'm also gonna show you guys these on as well. And this is the other last thing I got. Um, it's more of like a dress pant, um, but it's a very loose, unstructured material. And I got these also for work and for like a casual dress um so like a business casual kind of trouser i could style during you know the winter season for holiday parties different types of things like that just like with the blue pants i just didn't have a lot of like casual dress um so i just thought that the material and fabric with the cut of these and like the looseness of them was gonna be perfect for what I was looking for. So I also snagged these, um, but I'm not gonna try these on. <laughs> One, because I'm like losing light quick and two, um, because I, this is the last thing and I don't think you guys even necessarily see these on. The last and final thing I picked up on my thrift haul trip was these shoes. So these are Clark's which are known to be very comfortable shoes and that's kind of why they um really snagged my interest i obviously liked the cut i like the color there's like a rich deep chocolate almost like a maroon chocolate brown beautiful color and they're clark so they're known to be comfortable i put them on like the cushion the sole like the, the such a nice pair of shoes. Look at the bottoms. And I've worn these a couple times already. So great condition, Clark shoes. I think I paid nine or $10 for these and I can wear them to work and style them for like street style and outfits and stuff like that. So I love that, that there's such a versatile shoe for me and multi-purpose shoe for me, um, which they can be for you. But yeah, I can't believe I got these, thrifted these from Goodwill and it's like, what? So clean, so good. 
that is everything I got for my fall winter Goodwill thrift haul. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you leave. Um, subscribe to see the styled fall winter version of all of these pieces and some more that I did not feature on here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.